Hi guys, so this morning we want to prepare granite soup so we can eat our bangku. So you guys come along with me. Yeah, so already I've already so I've already cooked the granite paste mixed with water to extract the oil. As you can see, that's the oil on top. Yeah, that is it. You can see the oil. Oh my goodness, so much oil, right? So I'm actually going to cook this soup using my rice cooker in my room because the rains have destroyed my kitchen. This is tasty some tomato paste. I was supposed to have added it whilst cooking the peanut paste to extract the oil, but it skipped my mind. So yeah, let's just add it now and get into the process. Yeah, I hope you can see. That is my video playing in the background. Yeah, I love to watch myself so I can figure out the things that I need to improve upon because I really love what I do. <laughs> So now I'm raising my wooden ladle so I can use it to stir my soup. As you can see, I am stirring it. Now I fetch some water, add it to the mixture as I stir so that the paste, the tomato paste will mix well with the granite paste. <laughs> the rice cooker is in a way faulty so I have to really probe it to be able to fix the cover. As you can see, I'm wiping the spatter of water on the floor because I hate to step in such and also I want the place to be as dry and clean as possible as I cook. More so, it's my bedroom, do you get? At this point in time, this hair is obviously a thorn in my flesh. <laughs> so these are the ingredients I'm using. So, baby girl has to adjust the camera to get things right, man. It's not easy. Oh my god, again. I'm not getting the right angle, you guys. <laughs> the things that we go through as we create this content. <laughs> yeah, so that's my little kitchen knife. I'm cutting out the unwanted part of the garden eggs then. I slice the first one as you can see that one is spoiled so yeah I'll just put it aside I slice the second one that one is okay the third one is okay last one too is okay they are all okay oh look at this one it has some gogomi inside <laughs> some worms inside so i definitely have to throw it away so the dustbin is outside so what i normally do is to put my waste in those rubbers and later on dispose it off this is my herbanizer pepper so i'm removing the unwanted parts yeah and my hair is still disturbing me you guys can you imagine so that is it the herbanizer pepper yeah i remove the head those ones are unwanted and Put them also in my rubber dustbin and you know that is my ginger so I'm removing the skin off of it and yeah I'm just going to slice it right you guys or I will grate it is it I slice or grate it yeah but as you can see I'm just removing the skin off of it as you can see i'm disposing every rubbish off into my so-called dustbin you know i'm cooking so i can't keep rubbish in my meat so you can see i'm hiding it behind my door so that when i'm done i send everything outside so you know what they say that women are good at multitasking yeah that is very true as i wait for my food to cook i decided to edit my videos so i can be able to post them for you guys to watch <laughs> after some few minutes i got up to check on my food so the tomato paste is well cooked now and i has given it a bit of color the main reason why i added it right so at this point i am stirring it to see the thickness and i realized that it is too thick right now so i have to add some water to it yeah as you can see i'm adding some water you know to my preferred consistency that is my pepper and uh, powdered pepper okay so i add a little bit of it i use my ladle to measure it before i add it right so that it wouldn't be too much yeah so i wash my herbanizer pepper and add it as well you know i love my food spicy <laughs> 
so now i cover it up you know and let it boil and cook to some point in time before i add my garden eggs because i don't want them to be too cooked right so this is how i continually wipe the spatter of water on the floor until i finished cooking like i told you i don't want to be stepping in water right and after all this is my bedroom again now it's time to add the garden eggs mind you this is a vegetarian kind of food no meat no fish all in vegetables and the garden egg is a major one as you can see i've washed it and i'm adding it to the soup yeah that's a seasoning i'm adding and the next one is a maggi cube yeah i have now removed it out of the paper that is it and i'm adding it to the soup okay after i rinse my hands get my salt and added a pinch of it anticipating that it doesn't become too salty you can see that on my face right <laughs> this is my onion i cut off the tail and the head containing the fibrous roots and i open it sliver by sliver and then i go back to my water and wash it you can see the slivers i've opened the sliver by sliver and washed it in water and then i sliced it now into the soup okay after that i go grab my ginger yeah that's the ginger and i slice the ginger as well into my soup i told you i love my soup spicy and then what do i do next i stir it up wash my hands in clean water and taste it you guys oh my goodness you can see the flavor that's flavor my room is just full of the aroma and covered it to simmer because it's almost cooked so i'm just rinsing my ladle and the knife okay again i'm collecting all the rubbish but this time from the water and putting it in my rubber as you can see i'm cleaning the floor and my hair again so right now i'm done i'm fetching water so i can wash the utensils that i used during my cooking as you can see still my soup is still simmering and you can see i'm just rinsing the bowls which i have already washed with soap and water that i did not show to you because recording was becoming very hectic <laughs> yeah so you can see i'm just rinsing the bowls and after rinsing the bowls that will be it that is the end of our cooking i couldn't record the next part of the food like the food that i'm combining the granola soup with because my phone had eventually gone off i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe because see i'm putting the bowls on my table <laughs>